welcome to Murder Monday. <laughs> of course, never on a Monday. That's the catch. I've done a few of these. I, I, I love the murder, you know, docu sorry, BSTL. Love the murder documentaries, real life crime. I'm obsessed. Almost in a scary way where if my Netflix account was monitored, I would probably have a police anklet on my... Uh, ankle obviously just in case I did anything wrong I mean anything on there I'm straight away boom the Menendez brothers but I'm already working on a video it's going to be my like I'm going to write a few notes <sighs> can you believe it put an effort into vids god damn but anyway we have a horrible 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 hor just nasty I mean one I can't wait to delve into but also just horrible so let's get into it Virginia McCullough she um, basically is a woman who killed her mother and father now not the most crazy story. People kill their parents, probably. You know, the Menendez brothers, for example. But she killed them four years ago and hid the bodies upstairs. When they uh, smashed through the front door of her house, part of her wondered why it took them so long to discover she had the murdered parents. She said, and I quote, cheer up, at least you caught the bad guy. I mean, this is Joker level madness, isn't it? It's like, I'm the bad guy, you caught me. <laughs> mental, mental. Relatives were asked to stay away and friends were told Mr. and Mrs. Muck Culler had retired to the Clacton area of Essex. The gruesome reality was very different. It would be four years before anyone found out the horrors took place behind the door. He was a b retired business studies lecturer and had been fatally poisoned. The 70-year-old body was hidden in a crudely built tomb made out of breeze blocks and blankets. The corpse of the 71-year-old wife was stashed behind sleeping bags and duvets in an upstairs wardrobe. I mean, imagine the smell, bro. Me, when I get into bed after a shower, if I, you know, have a crazy dream and I wake up sweating like a pedo on a school bus, I am fudged, bro. I am like, dri I'm like, oh, what the fuck's going on here? What the fuck's going on? Imagine what they smelled like. They would have smelled like absolute pig's toes like jesus miss muck had been battered with a hammer and stabbed but she too had also been poisoned with prescription meds administered damn virginia was handled a life sentence for their murders to serve a minimum of 36 years god damn the kids were always drawn and you couldn't see ear if anybody was in the house and she said she lived next door for 20 years they were just like shadows they moved very quickly from a to b i find it quite difficult to say that virginia murdered her parents or killed her parents she added she'd come across pleasant funny irre irreverent whatever that means dark sense of humor essex police took a phone call from essex safeguarding team a gp and mr and mrs colors registered practice had raised concern for their welfare having not seen them for some time I mean, my God, they laid in the home for four freaking years, bro. Four years hidden. It was a makeshift. I mean, look at that. That looks like a crackhead then. Their absence had been explained by the who offered a range of excuses for each appointment she cancelled on her parents' behalf. Convenient for her, the country had been in COVID in forced lockdowns for, oh my God, so COVID helped it, the fucker. Gee, I bet she couldn't believe her. Look, she was like, oh my God, God's on my side. Not only has he made a huge pandemic, but he's now saved me when I've killed my parents. <laughs> Jesus. I deserve what's coming, she said. Yeah, yeah. You do. I did. I did know that this day would come eventually. I deserve to get what's coming because that's the right thing to do, and then that might give me a bit of peace. Oh my god! Documents recovered inside the property painted a picture of a woman desperately trying to keep her parents from discovering a financial black hole. Abusing their goodwill, she'd been living rent free, so she's a bum. Spending their money, even further of a bum, and racking up large credit card debts in their names. She forged letters showed she had been tricking her parents into thinking they had lost money through scams. In reality, it was money frit. What a bitch. I mean, not only did she take their money, she then pretended they were getting scammed because they're old. To them, she was well-qualified, employed, and working hard towards becoming an artist. Few she claimed would so bring financial benefits for her parents. Instead, she was reaping the financial rewards and manipulating, abusing, and taking advantage of her parents. She benefited basically 150,000 British pounds combined from their pensions, spending on credit cards, as well as selling things. The court also heard she spent 21,000 on online gambling. What the fuck is wrong with people? 21 grand on our life her lies and the fear of being exposed only led to a cruelly killing of parents. He was told that the parents who used to purchase goods from the shop were no longer living. They said peculiar nature meant she could say things without arising. She came into the shop and said, the police are after me. They think I killed my mum and dad. I thought that's a bit odd, but didn't think anything. I just thought it was her eccentric nature. So she was a bit of a nutter. Everyone knew she was a nutter. I mean, that's horrible. You raise this poor kid your whole life. And then just when you, you know, you've done a great job, this, that, and the other, you know, that you're letting them live rent free, giving them everything they need, money, food, whatever it might be 21 grand worth of gambling shit and then they you know you get killed poisoned 
by some bitch. You know what I mean? Hell. We knew she was odd, but I would never have dreamt she would even capable of doing what she actually did. I mean, this is crazy. I can't wait for the Netflix documentary to come out. I mean, throughout the course of it, we had built a picture of the vast levels of deceit, betrayal, and fraud she engaged in. It was a shocking monument. It was it lied about almost every aspect, maintaining a charade to deceive everyone close to her and clearly taking advantage of her parents. Horrible. So she stole, robbed them blind, stole all their money, and then, you know, didn't have even have the balls to let them die peacefully and just shoved them in a in a makeshift tomb. I wonder if she felt any remorse. Let's watch this anyway. The police! Stay where you are! Stay where you are, show him, show It's like when the Riddler gets caught, you know what I mean? Like he's been expecting them. It's like, ah! Batman, I've been expecting you! <laughs> She'll laugh, it's a serious murder, but you know what I mean? She's like, my time has come, my claim for fame. I can't wait to get my Netflix documentary. <laughs> Bitch. I need to tell you something about what's upstairs on the top floor as well. This one? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, my dad's body's in there. Right. Right, okay. <laughs> right, okay. And, and why is he up there? Oh, he's just a bit tired. Just wanted to put his head down for four years. Obviously, I'll What about your mum? Um, a little bit more complicated. Where will, well. Where will we find your mum? Where will we find your mum? Okay, so upstairs there are about five wardrobes. Yep. Um, it's behind the bed, but back next to the sink. He didn't drink all of them. He only drank probably about half of two. Okay. But um, yeah, when I went in in the morning, this was before my mother uh, came in and he was gone. I did know that this would kind of come eventually. Um, she looks so proud. She's like smiling. I didn't know this day would come. I've been planning it actually. I got us a little cake. If you would you like to join? No, you wouldn't. Uh, oh yeah, I killed my parents. Sorry, it was four years ago. I got over it very quickly. Yeah. Uh, that I served my punishment. Cheer up. At least you caught the bad guy. I mean, I deserve. Oh, to she said it. Uh, get whatever's coming sentence-wise, because that's the right thing um, to do. And that might give me a bit of peace. The next bit is very hard to talk about. That's probably the most grisly detail. There's a hammer. It's in the middle underneath the stairs. It will still have blood on it. It's rusted, but it will still have blood traces on it. I mean, rookie mistake, didn't get rid of the murder weapon. Admitting on camera that you killed him. I mean, she's never watched these documentaries. Unlike me, I have. Obviously, she got what she deserved. She's gone to prison. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, she spends the rest of her days in prison. I mean, everyone falls out with their parents, but killing your parents, like, that's fucking disgusting. Especially when they're letting you live there, feeding you, looking after you, this, that, and the other. I mean, and to have no real plan, you know, like, to do it and then, like, just live in the house with the bodies there, like, not even try to get rid of them over the four years, like, you could have got rid of them. I'm not trying to give her ideas, it's too fucking late, but you know what I mean? She could have done something. Four years, two bodies, imagine what they're like now. But yeah, horrible, disgusting, but clearly she, she didn't know what she was doing. She just wanted a few years of spending loads of money, having fun, getting pissed, whatever it might be. And uh, yeah, glad she's finally been caught. I'd love to find out the, the steps, you know what I mean, from the GP calling to then the police going, hold on, yeah, where are these guys? And then, you know, they interview the daughter and go, sorry, you you your parents, where are they? You know, oh, they've retired, they've gone somewhere over there. No, they haven't. There's no address for them. There's no legal anything. You know, they have no, what's their number? Let me call them. You know, I'm sure that's how it went and things went after another one, after one, after one, and they got three and went, well, hold on, the only person here who could have done something is her. I mean, imagine if the police came to a house and sat around a kitchen table and the bodies were just up there. Oh, chilling chilling but yeah guys let me know what you think about this on this murder monday on a tuesday was it good did you enjoy it i think i did enjoy it yeah, an interesting case glad there was an ending i'm currently watching unsolved mysteries on netflix i know it's clue in the title it pisses me off when you don't know what goes on like and there's some of them are so good and like some of them about aliens and that so i get you know what i mean you're never going to find out really about them but the murder ones you're like fuck who, who killed them and beheaded them 12 people and left them all on the riverbank there Anyway, Virginia's been caught. If you have any good uh, recommendations, let me know. Thanks.